Are you looking for a way to grow your company's brand awareness? If so, in this video, I'm gonna to explain to you why I think you should consider podcasting or live streaming to create content for your brand. So hi everyone, I'm Laura. I'm a videographer at MFG Tribe. I'm gonna show you how MFG Tribe uses live streaming to create tons of content for our online presence. At MFG Tribe, we do go live on LinkedIn using StreamYard. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how we set up our live broadcast studio to give you a feel of what you could do for your brand if you want to try live streaming or podcasting. All right, so the first thing that you're gonna have to figure out whenever you're considering doing live streaming or podcasting is decide what you're gonna talk about. What should you be talking about? You should talk about whatever you're an expert on. At MFG Tribe, we are an industrial marketing company, so typically the videos that are on our live stream have to do with stuff within our niche. So anything about technical sales, anything about industrial marketing or sales in general sometimes, our content will consist of those topics. So whatever you can apply your own personal knowledge and experience to is what you should talk about to your audience. You basically just want to seem like the subject matter expert for your niche. Step two is what kind of equipment do you need? Now you could technically just get away with using your standard computer's webcam. Here at MFG Tribe, we have been doing this for a while, so we do have quite the arsenal of equipment. We have like multiple cameras, multiple microphones, a full lighting setup. So we did invest in equipment so that our end product can be a little bit more high quality, but that doesn't mean that you have to do that right away. If you have a webcam on your computer, you can get started right now. You also have to choose a streaming software that you want to use. Like I said, we personally have chosen to use StreamYard. For what we're doing, that has been the best choice for us so far. We might have to make a pivot in the future if we need to, but for now, StreamYard works fine for us. StreamYard does record your stream for you, so if you do have any like graphics that you add into your stream, when you finish the stream, the finished video is available for you to download. So you can put it into your video editing software and edit it down to your different pieces of content. The next step is to just do it. This past week, we decided to do a live with two speakers instead of we usually just have one. Uh, so I was a little bit intimidated to set up the studio. I ended up just going for it because that's my best advice is to just go for it. The first time that you do it, you're not gonna be 100% satisfied with what you have created. So here you'll see me setting up our studio for this live broadcast. Basically, I just set up a bunch of lights, one on each corner of this table setup that I had going on. And then I just basically had one camera as a close-up on each speaker, as well as a third camera as a wide shot. I did learn from this live that I didn't love the setup that I had. You can see here, this is how they turned out. This was my camera one setup. This was my camera two setup. This was my wide shot camera three setup. Basically through the live, I just used a Blackmagic switcher to switch through the three cameras and the microphones and I just connected that directly to my computer and ran it through StreamYard. It has great capability for integrating that system. And also switching through the cameras live does free up a little bit of my editing time in post-production. Now, when it comes down to the just do it portion of this, fortunately at MFG Tribe, we do have our CEO who is more than comfortable being on camera. He has created tons and tons of videos. Possibly a later video that I will do is how I have been creating his personal brand content. But for the most part, he has been on the forefront of all of our internal content. Everyone else, including myself, is starting to make their own personal videos. That's why you're watching this right now. I really think that that's how you're gonna build the best brand awareness because it gives your audience more of like a personal level. They feel like they know you, they feel like they can relate to you. Seeing your face and your personality come through on camera is just going to help your brand. So in the beginning of this video, I said you could either live stream or just do a podcast. If the idea of going live kind of scares you, you could just set up a camera a microphone and record a video podcast. I do recommend making it a video because then you can turn it into shorts and you can also just turn the video itself into an audio version of your podcast. I'll touch more on that in the next video. So make sure you guys are subscribed so that you can see that whenever I post it. 
So once you or someone else at your company has decided that they are willing to step up to the plate and either film a live stream or film a podcast, that's really all that you have to do to create content. You do possibly have to know a little bit of editing knowledge, but basically just having the subject matter knowledge and being the subject matter expert in your videos and then creating different pieces of content based off of your live stream and podcast is what I think the easiest way to create tons of content to generate brand awareness for your company. So there you have it guys. Like I said, I will be creating more videos about how to maximize your brand awareness content just from filming one simple live stream or podcast. So make sure you are subscribed so that you can see that. Make sure you're subscribed anyways because everyone else on the team is gonna start making content that you guys can see if you're interested in learning about sales, marketing, project management. We're gonna have tons of videos on those topics as well as video and content creating. Make sure you guys also head over to LinkedIn, give us some follows on there, and we will see you on the next one.